the resultant of coplanar forces meeting at a point part 3 question 3 ABC is an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle ABC uh, it means all sides are equal and all angles are equal and each equal 60 degrees M is the midpoint of intersection of its medians here is ABC and here is the point M it is the intersection point of its medians the forces of magnitudes 15 20 and 25 Newtons act on a particle in the direction of MC MC uh, here is 15 15 and MC here is 15 MB is 20 MA is 25 MA is 25 so we have three forces in these three directions MA 25 MC 15 MB equals 20 Newtons find the magnitude and the direction of the resultant of these forces so the required is to find the magnitude and the direction of the resultant of these three forces we will resolve these three forces into two perpendicular directions uh, the direction of x-axis positive direction of x-axis and y-axis so we uh, assume this point is E so measure of AME equals 90 AME equals 90 and this is the force uh, and this is the magnitude or the value of this is the value of uh, the angle between the force 25 and the positive direction of x-axis this point equal this angle equals 90 degrees measure of angle CMA equals 120 CMA it is the measure of the angle between MC and MA it is 120 so measure of angle C M E reflected angle equals 120 plus 90 which equal 210 and the measure of the angle between the force M B and the positive direction of X axis this angle equals 120 plus 120 plus 90 which equal 330 330 degrees so now we know the measure of the angles between the three forces and the positive direction of x-axis 90 and 210 and 330 now we will get the component x in the positive direction of x-axis it is 25 cosine 90 plus 15 cosine 210 plus 20 cosine 330 uh, after you calculate it uh, using your calculator uh, it will be 5 over 2 root 3 5 over 2 root 3 and y it is the sum of all components in the direction of y axis equals 25 sine 90 plus 15 sine 210 plus 20 sine 330 equals 15 over 2 now we can calculate r it is the resultant r equals the first component square x square plus y square which equal 5 root 3 newton and the theta equals 10 minus 1 7.5 over 2.5 root 3 again to calculate theta theta equals 10 minus 1 y over x y over x and we have y it's 15 over 2 which equals 7.5 over x it is 2.5 root 3 so theta equal 60 degrees 
question 4 ABCD is a square of side length 12 centimeters H belong to BC so BH equals 5 centimeters forces of magnitudes 2 13 4 root 2 and 9 gram weight act in the directions of AB AH CA AD respectively find the magnitude of the resultant of these forces again we have the square a b c d of length 12 centimeters and we have the point h belongs to b c such that b h equals 5 centimeters and this is the forces represented by 13 9 2 4 root 2 again respectively the magnitude uh, the force of magnitude 2 acts in a b 2 acts in a b this is the direction and 13 13 acts on the direction of ray a h 13 here a h the force of magnitude 4 root 2 acts in the direction of CA. CA here. And the 9 acts on the direction of AD here. Now we calculate uh, the values of the angle between the forces and the positive direction of X axis. It is the first step. So measure of the angle between the force of magnitude 13 and the positive direction of x axis it is 180 minus theta 180 minus theta and uh, we have another force between the force of magnitude 4 root 2 and the positive direction of x axis equals 360 minus minus 45 minus 45 because the measure of this angle here is 45 so it's 315 so ah equals the square root of ab square plus bh square which equal 12 square plus 5 square which equal 13 so the length of ah equals 13 centimeters and you calculate cosine theta cosine theta equals 12 over 13 and sine theta equals 5 over 13 5 over 13 here uh, as uh, sine theta equals uh, opposite over hypotenuse the length of the opposite is 5 and the length of the hypotenuse equals 13 and you complete to find the x it is the sum of all components in the direction of x axis it is 9 cosine the included angle between the line of action of the force 9 and positive direction of x axis it is 90 and so on so we have x equal 9 cosine 90 plus 4 root 2 cosine 315 315 it is the measure of the angle between the force 4 root 2 and the positive direction of x axis plus 13 cosine 180 minus theta plus 2 cosine 180 9 cosine 90 equals 0 because cosine 90 equals 0 4 root 2 cosine 315 equal 4 cosine 180 minus theta equals negative cosine theta negative cosine theta and the cosine theta equals 12 over 13 and we write negative 13 multiply 12 over 13 minus 2 as cosine 180 equals negative 1 negative 1 by 2 equals negative 2 and the sum equals negative 10 also y equals 9 sine 90 plus 4 root 2 sine 315 plus 13 sine 180 minus theta plus 2 sine 180 and we calculate it which equal 10 
now to find the r r equals square root of x square plus y square which equal 10 root 2 and tan theta equals negative 1 how we get it tan theta equals y over x 10 over negative 10 equals negative 1 and x less than 0 y greater than 0 so theta equals 135 as theta lies in the second quadrant okay if you calculate this uh, tan theta equals negative 1 if you write shift 10 negative 1 you will get negative 45 but the resultant lie in the second quadrant theta lies in the second quadrant so you uh, add 180 minus 45 which you get it from shift 10 negative 1 you will get 135 as theta lies in second quadrant and uh, it's a right solution because 135 lies in second quadrant So we say R acts in the direction of AC and its magnitude is 10 root 